Welcome to this is the energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon Arising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the end of your um, birthday zodiac for the year 2018 for you, Pisces. So um, let's look and see what is going to be transpiring. This week is um, the 12th week. It begins from the 19th until the 25th. And in this week, um, um, from Monday or Tuesday, um, the situation that is going to be happening for you Monday and Tuesday, um, we're going to look at those positive energies that is going to be coming up. As I was shuffling your card, you have the energy of the Empress and she falls out upright. So this is good because I've been having like a lot of reverse for a lot of people in this week. So let's see what is coming in on Monday for the Pisces. There is a water energy transformation, transformation, um, transformation is coming in on Monday, on Tuesday. You have the energy of the three of pentacles you're working together on wednesday you have the hermit which is your energy vibration so that is good because you're ending the zodiac year the um the um you've ended 2017 and you're coming in into 2018 now on thursday you have the energy of the eight of cups you're walking away from a situation on friday you have you're seeing a situation properly on a Saturday. You have the I princess in reverse, no, the moon in reverse, and on Sunday you have a new beginning. So this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I thought when is something good gonna come up? Okay, so you have a lot of water sign. The best day Monday. Monday and Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and um, Saturday and Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, this is really mm, okay. The first half of the week, we're going to look at the first half of the week. First half of the week, you have the energy of. Um, a debt, um, the ending of or you working with someone. Let's see what is happening. Um, you're having regrets about something. We're going to look at that and see what is the regrets. It's the ending of you working with someone. So you're going to have some regrets. Let's see what's happening. Um, and then you have it's a um, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true so this is going to be good in the first half of the week even though you have an ending um, you're working with someone and you have an ending but your wishes and dreams are going to come true because sometimes there have to be endings so that new beginning can come in let's look at the middle of the week you have the seven of Pentacles um and you know this is good because what is transpiring with the energy of the seven of pentacles and that sort of a thing now you have the energy of the eye for instance you're not listening so help is going to be coming in from the eye princess okay help is going to be coming in from the eye princess even though she is in the reverse form let's see what is happening to the hermit and you walking away um you um, the hermit and you walking away um, you're seeing a situation and you're turning your um, you're walking away okay but the energy of the lovers let's see what's happening heartbreak heartbreak and you're walking away from the lovers you had a heartbreak you're walking away I, let, let's see what's happening Victory and success, which is good because you see a situation properly and you're here in your own energy vibration. So this is good. Um, and you have a strong foundation and good news is coming in. You have a strong 
foundation and good news is coming in okay so there was you turn your back and you're walking away from a situation because there's heartbreaks you look um, you you know there was light there was light that that is brought to a situation there's light that is brought to a situation and you're after you're turning your back on the lovers so let's see what was the heartbreak about okay not bad honestly it's it's it's, it's not bad so the ending of the week you felt are broken about something okay um, you felt heartbroken about something and as some of you felt heartbroken um, heartbreak um, with the lovers okay um, it's as if you have regrets because you have been working so hard on a relationship and now you're you um, you felt as if you're losing the battle with this relationship and this person but maybe it's a blessing in disguise sometimes these things do happen because you have to lose something to gain something better so maybe it's a blessing in disguise someone um, and you're going to be um, um, invited out by someone you know in the age group of 30 and there is going to be a solution for whatever happens so sometimes when we lose something is for a good reason you're going to be heartbroken over because this is if you have been working on a relationship for such a, a long time and then um, this is if you're losing the battle you are really losing the battle okay it's as if you've been working on a relationship and you're losing the battle but um, whatever the heartbreak is um, um, peace and harmony and content is going to come in peace harmony and content is going to come in okay so if you felt as if you have lost something you're going to realize that peace and harmony is going to come in and this peace and harmony um, um, uh, for you ladies an important man or mentor is going to come in your life so let's say that a relationship has ended and your heart broken but not to worry because peace and harmony is going to come in you're going to meet someone very important this person is going to be a mentor and someone who is going to be there for you so sometimes and it's going to happen for you ladies because sometimes there is a heartbreak I don't know what is happening but there is um, three times three and then nine because three threes is nine so nine three and thirty three I don't know what's happening write that number down nine three and thirty three there's another three here also so it's all about um, it's all about uh, a situation that is transpiring but there is going to be the resolution of this situation so the ladies are going to be heartbroken now the men is going to have a new start in um, in love and this is going to be very very positive you men are going to have a new start in love and it's going to be um, very very positive um, whatever the situation is whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring you men are going to have a new start in a relationship and this is going to be absolutely wonderful because um, whoever you're connecting with this person is your soulmate or twin flame so for you Pisces this is going to be good I so love you Pisces I really love Pisces people okay so and, and, and the love situation comes up because it is here so some of you women are going to be heartbroken and you're going to turn your back to a relationship that you're in but is a blessing in disguise because um, someone new is coming in and there is 
finally going to be harmony and peace in your life and it's going to be good because um, there is going to be um, a sort of a um, as someone important is going to come in your life for you ladies for you men is going to be your twin flame and soulmate um, I'm seeing that some of you men had this relationship some of you men had met this person before and it's as if uh, there was other situation in your life that you had to dealt with and um, now you're saying um, now you're um, it's as if you had a lot dealing with you met this person you know who this person was you felt the connection but it's as if you were de dealing with so many other things and then you decide to like call up this person and you start to see this person again it, but this person is really this this person is the love of your life this person is a soulmate a twin of flame or a soulmate for some of you men is it is a soulmate for some of you men is a twin flame um I think you men realize that this person means a lot to you this person is very significant it's as if you met this person and even though you have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of stuff is happening in your life um, it's as if this person is on your mind all the time it's as if you know and you have a regrets because um, for some of you I think um, your marriage has ended because it's as if there's an ending with someone that you were close with and this could be for some of you that your marriage has ended and or your marriage was on was ending or um, it's, it's, it's not as if you're having regrets you, you you have regrets because you didn't expect your marriage to end basically but um, your wishes and dreams are coming true because um, you have met your soulmate your you've met as um, a soulmate or a twin flame because here is it you have met a soulmate or a twin flame and you think you know maybe is you know a good a good um, time that it happened because I really feel so connected with this person then I don't have to feel so you men are going to be victorious okay because at the end of the day your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true because what you're seeing here is that um, whatever the regrets and whatever that has ended it, it, obviously this is a marriage or a relationship that has ended um, your wishes and dreams are going to come true because now you're seeing that it is for the best um, the focus is the six of Pentacles and the six of Pentacles is always that you're going to be receiving help um, and this help is going to come in from this new person and this person is a, a twin flame of a soulmate for some people and it's going to be a new beginning because you know this it's as if you met this person and you know that this is the person I've been waiting for my entire life this is the person I wished and dreamed for and you have a strong foundation because apparently you have met this person at time some time ago but you 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 weren't you didn't know um, how this person felt about you and now you realize that you know there is um, a, a strong stability um, you know this person feels the same way that I feel um and you're trying to clear up your life before you begin with this person good news is going to come about 
a strong foundation and money so on the outside looking in and what is coming in maybe the next week and um, as the ten of Pentacles a celebration and good news is coming in okay so this is good isn't this wonderful yes um, the ten of Pentacles is wonderful um, and then you're going to have a strong foundation and news is coming in and this news that is coming in is going to bring you a lot of luck and this can be luck in your health but it can also be luck in your financial world so this is a wonderful reading um, you Pisces um, not a lot of people have gotten positive reading but this is a really a wonderful reading because the energy of the ten of Pentacles and letting you know that your financial situation is going to be um, a very um, strong uh, financial situation so that is why the energy of the Empress comes out in this week so um, that is a wonderful lesson you Pisces I have no idea what is going on you have the solar plex chakra so you need to heal your solar plex chakra I swear you need to heal your solar plex chakra what is where is happening you need to um, heal your solar plex chakra and I'm going to tell you how you can do that because um, you need to heal your solar plex chakra that is number three energies and there is a way that you can heal it it is the color of yellow and is rum 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 I can I can I can okay so this is good especially for you ladies you need to um, heal this uh, the, the solar plex chakra and again I'm saying this to you three Nine, three, thirty-three, six, nine, seven, three. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, again, um, three, a uh, thirty-three. Six, seven, nine. Wow, wonderful. Have a wonderful week, you Pisces, and I'm sending you a lot of love. So I will talk to you guys next week. Namaste.